Yesterday, the Small Business Bureau distributed bursaries to 15 Barbicians who completed an entrepreneurship program recently. Narima Ali reports. The Ministry of Business, through the Small Business Bureau, distributed 15 business grants yesterday at the humanitarian mission in Port Marat. These grants totaled at a sum of 1500 US dollars and were disbursed to persons who took part in the Ministry of Public Security's Citizen Security Strengthening Program. The project coordinator, Dr. Portia Dodson Sami, expounded more on what the program entailed. The Small Business Bureau was contracted by the Citizen Security Strengthening Program to train 200 youth across Guyana in entrepreneurship. Um, specifically, we're looking at youths from communities in regions 3, 4, 5, 6, and 10. And the, the program evolved um, from the Youth Base 592 um, project, which was done in 2017. Um, at the end of that training, they have to prepare a business plan, and that business plan is evaluated by a steering committee. And based on the business plan, a grant is approved for those persons to start a business. So we target youth specifically from communities that have a high incidence of crime, and then we give them a grant to start a business. Hopefully that when they become gainfully employed, there is a diversion from crime. Okay. And so today we are disbursing grants, um, in Region 6 and Region 4, we're doing it simultaneously. So even as we speak, the same thing is happening in Georgetown. We had, um, the first batch had um, 15 persons from Region 6 and 23 in Region 4. And so today we're at the site in Port Marat where we're giving them their grants. The grants were distributed to Odessa Bagot, the Lacey Job, Tashula Joseph, Joanne Lambert, Roxanne Lewis, Randy Light, Aitasha DeYoung, Tanisha Moore, Carrie-Anne Pestano, Janelle Punch, Dennis Quinton, Rena Ragunat, Amy Ramjit, Colleen White, and Eugene Williams. Two of the bursary recipients spoke with this newscast and share what business they plan to invest in. So my name is Amy Ramjit. I turn 24 years today. I am from Hampshire Village. Um, that's right at the team. I'm self-employed. I do cake decorating. I do you nail know, styling and hair styling. So basically, I'm almost into the salon business. So to speak. It's a huge impact for me because I mean, it's hard financially. Before this program, it was so hard and so difficult for me to open a business on my own. But thanks to the opportunity that I had to participate in this program, that was a huge weight that was lifted off my shoulders. I, w I thought to myself that I knew it all about how to run and operate a business, but after participating in this program, it has taught me so much more to be able to have a stable source of income, which would help me sustain myself and my family. And also, a huge impact that it has placed on my life is that I would be an example to every other youth in my community. My name is Dennis Quentin. And where are you from? I'm from New York Town. How old are you? I'm 19 years of age. Okay. So I'm starting a poetry farm. I was planning to do it in your Islam, but I've realized that doing it in your Islam would be a bit challenging at the moment, so I've moved it to my other location in Kingdom. Because I, I've, I have a lot of competitors in your Islam at the moment, and seeing that I'm now we start in business, it will be more challenging for me. This program has me in a lot of ways, one of them is it teach me a lot of things that I have known about handling business, like record keeping, how to manage your stuff, and financing. Because I've seen the opportunity for approaching the area that I'm opening the business, because a lot of people in Alfred did it. Me, they have to travel a long way just to get it. The program is designed to train youths between the ages of 16 to 25 years old. The second batch of students would have already commenced the training in May of this year, and they are on the way to becoming entrepreneurs. Nurima Ali, Channel 8 News.